Hello and welcome back to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. So we do have a special guest in the building. That person is called Tolu Lope Ajayi, better known for his stage name, which is Tea Classic. He's a Nigerian singer, songwriter and recording artist. Tea Classic has released many singles in the past, like I Want You, another called Think About It in 2007 that was well released and helped push his career. But it's unarguable that in 2019, Tea Classic's song Nobody Find Pass You, which one most popular popular song of the year and was also nominated for the promising act of the year at city people music awards was definitely his big break please welcome with me the ladies man and multi-talented artist t classic hello <laughs> and whenever i see you the only song that comes to my head is where yeah. you did I swear, let's complete that together tell me where you did 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 Hey. Hey. Oh, hey, hey. No, I start. No, I <laughs> Hello. Well, How are you? You're, you're good. reading your, your about you, doing your research. The yeah. first thing that struck out and was like, I was hooked on it for a second, was your year. I'm not going to jab the year, oh, but I'm sure people go and check it. Anyway, right. it's out there. But you're very young, very, very, very young. And you're, you're doing really well. Yeah. And there's fame involved. And even for adults, I've seen years and years of experience. Yeah. They've always... Um, talked about how fame is such a complicated thing to deal with because it really yeah. alters realities and stuff. So I want to know your journey, you know, how has that been like for you? Uh, before I let me just start like this. When I started music, my whole story was like, it's a different thing, you know, because if you have a lot, if you ask a lot of artists, they'll say, I started in the church, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> my own was just to write song and sing it to my mama and if she likes it, I don't even care about the studio <laughs> piece. So, one day, Mama was just like, because first of all, it was me dancing, you know, doing the Michael Jackson kind of move, and she was like, okay, do you know what? Why don't you write a song and dance to it? Mm -hmm. And luckily for me, the um, secondary school I attended, Royal Khan Comprehensive High School, mm -hmm. we used to have like social activities every Friday, right. whereby you see uh, dancers, singers, mm. comedians, and mm. everything. So. Then it helps me. I just develop the habit, de develop the passion for mm. music. You know, mm. writing music, doing all and everything. So from there, I got signed to a record label. Mm. That was, that was Bam Music Entertainment, and my contract ended. From there again, entered another record label, mm. the current one, Mixed Ninja mm. Entertainment. Mm. And before you know it, since then I've been like boom. All right, you so know. in 2019, like she said, you had one of the biggest songs, Nobody yeah. Find Past You. Mm. And um, there were three cuts that came out like, almost <laughs> at the same time. Mm. Now, Fireboy, oh. we came out with, I'm getting mm. jealous. No one. <laughs> at that same time, then Joe yeah. Boy dropped, because mm. I'm all for you. Mm. Yeah. The, yeah. You know, those three songs were the bangers, because I know yeah. I jammed to them a lot, and I did a lot of crazy things with them as well. Sorry, mm. pardon Crazy me. things like what? Ah, <laughs> uh, no. Uh, <laughs> we all know. We be all know. It's always behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. <laughs> behind the scenes. Oh, okay. Yeah, so um, I, I, I don't know. How do you feel about that comparison, and then yeah. looking at your pairs um, and where they are, what they've achieved, what you've achieved as well, if yeah. you have to place... You know, the blessings, they say count your blessings, name them one by one. Yeah. If you have to count your blessings and place them side by side with all these other cats, right? Where would you say your journey has taken you so far? Are you grateful or do you have some regrets? No, no regret, no regret. I just, um, you know, just do my thing. Mm. I do my thing. Like, about the competition or anything, I'm just worried about, you know, the money mm. and my fans. Mm. If my fans love what I do, my fans love what I do. So mm. I don't care about the competition or anything. Yeah. I just do my thing. But I want to know because you, know, you, I mean, your mom is obviously a big part of your story, yeah. and I, 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 you're right. I'll give you that. that I've, not, I've not heard that story before. Usually, it's the opposite that they're begging you yeah, not to, to do, do it, that that type of stuff. But um, yeah. now that you don't have somebody telling you, please go and write music so you can dance for me. You know, yeah, yeah you've yeah. grown now. Yeah. What fuels your inspiration? Like, yeah. All right. So one thing about me is just that I, I there's a lot of things to think about. Mm -hmm. You know, that's just me. You know, I I can just decide to like concept. I just create concepts in my head. I can just write about my girlfriend that died. My girlfriend didn't die, but we have people <laughs> in this world yeah. that have a girlfriend that died. So definitely right. they can relate to what I'm saying. So your girlfriend is still alive. Let's tell us about her. I want to tell us. 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 Tell us.
and I'm not okay. searching. So let, let's, let's do this. <laughs> yeah. uh, where you did? He's not even looking. He's not, even looking. He's not, not looking. I'm not searching. I'm not searching. I'm not searching. Oh, really? Just, why? Why? Is that, right, so why is that? It seems, sounds deliberate. Are you trying uh, to... You, do you think they're distractions? No, okay. no, 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 not distractions. Just feel... Mom used to just tell me, like, you know, you have to just do, you know, one thing. Like, how do you used to say that word, like, Prioritize. You can't do like you can't do two things at the mm. time. You just have to take it one by one by one. Mm. So I just time. feel like okay, I should just focus on my music more. Mm. I like so the now. fact that you've mentioned your mom like twice yeah. on this table. Mm. Oh, <laughs> there's, ab there's absolutely nothing wrong with being yeah. a mommy's boy. Fantastic I'm a mommy's boy actually. as well. I speak I, I, to my I mom. Know, wait, wait. I know what you're trying to say. Don't try, don't, don't, don't go there. Don't <laughs> no, go no, there. No, 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 no. It's okay being a mommy's boy. My All mom right. calls me. I'm All sure right. she's watching right now. She's calling me right after the show. I heard what you said. I'm also a mommy's boy. But what do you feel about a lot of artists? that don't have relationship with their parents, do you think that's mm. what affects them to do some of those um, delinquent things that they do or go mm. out of character, no manners and all that? Like, to me, I don't feel anyone. I don't feel, I don't know. I don't know about anyone, but <laughs> parents, parents, like, we, we definitely need yeah. them. Yeah. You know, the advice, mm. you know, their contribution. Mm. Forget, there are some things I would just think about. She was like, oh, no, 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 don't worry. Just take that line and take mm. that line. Put this on, put this on. It's mm. going to make sense. Mm. You know, sometimes I just need the Yoruba kind of feel mm. inside myself. Just like, hello, what's up? Mm. Blah, blah, blah. So we, uh, we need them, definitely. Yeah. yeah. So we need them. Okay, I want to ask, though, the industry seems to be promoted, especially for youngings. We've, had, we've been fortunate on this table to have yeah. quite a lot. Um, I'm not even in the art industry, and I know <laughs> the type of pressure that comes with being young, right? Yeah, but yeah. for you, um, if the... Do you think that there are certain people that you need? Obviously, we know you have your mom and stuff. But now I'm talking about the industry now, like right. like the la record labels and all of yeah. that. We put a lot of pressure on them on this table as to like keeping their people in check, yeah. making sure that they're you know they're not participating in things that we don't necessarily stand for. Yeah. So do you think that in the industry now, when they sign record, when they sign new artists, especially young artists, there should be there should be more effort put into young people. Mm. Um, if I has argued on this table many times for so even therapists to be part of a like, like an in-house and stuff. So what, what's, your, what's your thought on that? Do you think it needs to be hands-on or just do your music, sign the contract, money strictly, and then bounce? Uh, about that one, I just feel, I just feel, yeah, first of all, there should be a relationship because mm. just think about it this way. You don't know this guy. You just like, because this music, everything is just like a gamble. Mm. Like you're just trying to gamble on something, like using somebody to just gamble. Okay, if this still work, fine. If it doesn't mm. work, fine. Mm. You know. So first of all, the relationship has to be there. Mm. You know, they have to be like, okay, kind of family or kind of relationship. You know, just know, okay, this person is my guy, and we are going to definitely make this thing together. She gets. So uh, actually, the question, mm. I didn't really get it. Okay, though, so now well. some record labels, like, yeah. okay, let's give an example of. Pizza, the, the P Squares people, the situation. Yeah. Cynthia Morgan came out, obviously, was saying that they don't have a good relationship. It's very impersonal. Yeah. There's that type of record label business that's happening. We yeah. also have maybe Maven Record, where it seems like there's actually a family union yeah. going on there. They're really tight. They have others that we don't even really know who the record label person is. Artist is really free to make decisions on their own. So there's different kinds of like record okay. labels and relationships that the the public is seeing, right? Okay. So no, now, from your own perspective, being a young person, right. what is that? Okay, let me let me rephrase it. What is the best record label going to look like for a young person in the industry? Like, what should what should that what should that record label have? Uh, not only money. Mm. Mm. Not only money. It just like I said, there should be a good relationship yeah. whereby you can you know trust this person, trust issue because there are a lot of things like oh money issue, blah blah. Mm -hmm. Because if you check this thing very well. At Mon the end of the day, money it's still money, money that yeah. is the issue. So there has to be like trust yeah. issues and you know, like trust mm. between both parties. Mm. You know, like, like, like I said, trust mm. and everything. So what do you think about yeah. having to um, have a, a record label that doesn't have any law in between? Like it's just words, no contract. Uh -huh. you be that one I do. <laughs> 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 but the same relationship, relationship. That if there's trust, you will, you will still need a lawyer before you sign a contract. Uh, regardless of trust or anything, there has to be a contract. Mm. You know, there has to be a contract to just like, you know, 
Okay, basically, yeah. you know, a lot of people see celebrities and they're like, okay, they have their stuff all put together, but mm, um, I'm yeah. sure everybody has a struggle. I'm sure sometimes before you go to bed, there are things you think about that keep you up at night, right? Sorry. Um, <laughs> what would you think is the best way for a celebrity who is not allowed, or who is allowed, but because of the patriarchal society and because of the community which we have grown up in, you're not allowed to show emotions. You can't come out looking weak, you know, you're singing. Yeah. Even though you're doing love songs, it don't mean you should come out looking like a lover boy. You get me? So, at the end of the day, what do you think is the best way to handle such situations when you're down? Do you go away from social media to avoid the trolls? Do you go see a therapist? What do you do to get back on your feet? I just hang out with my friends, like mm. my friends, and, you know, maybe go to the cinema and just, you know, see one or two movies and vibe with my friends actually mm. but who's the Doesn't easiest person for you to talk to when you're going to your go to my guy. mom man my oh. mom <laughs> oh, <mommy>. because, <laughs> <sorry>. <laughs> my mom because right. because what, there's there's this um connection you know like like i feel she has been there before mm. before me you understand that kind of thing if i just She's tell her there like, before if, you if i just like out. oh mom i'm passing through this issue like oh don't worry just do it like this do it like mm. this and what if it's something you can tell her oh trust me like when you get chlamydia like I tell her everything, like everything, everything, like including everything, chlamydia. like everything, bro, no, no, like everything, bro, everything. like everything, okay. like to the fullest, like okay, everything. I, I want oh, your man, opinion I can't on tell you everything. <laughs> <laughs> I want your opinion on something. Yeah. Um, some people of the, especially on Twitter, they yeah. say that T Classic is very underrated, yeah. Yeah. and a lot of the, when you say underrated, either that your music should have gone, you know. Bigger. Big, blown bigger than it's supposed to, or yeah. that you're supposed to like, get more recognition than it's supposed to. What right. do you? What, what's your thoughts on that? I just feel, first of all, I feel everyone has a choice to choose their artists, mm. you know, to have the right to choose wherever they want to listen to. And I feel this um, underrated kind of thing is for like every artist too, because everybody mm. feels that type of way. You might be listening to this artist, I might not be listening to this artist. That doesn't make that doesn't make Mr. A underrated. Mm. Of course, I have my own fans. You understand? Everybody have their own fans. She has two you get. So mm. I don't feel underrated or anything. I just feel like everybody has their choice. Okay, let's so look, like, quickly okay. talk about your new music. Yeah. You have, obviously you have something cooking inside. Tell us about <sighs> it. The inspiration, who is it targeting, <sighs> all that jazz. All right. So I just dropped an EP, a Lirat EP. I dedicated it to one of like to someone close to me. She passed away, mm. so she's very supportive and knows. I just tried, oh. you know, just dedicated Sorry about the. That. Um, Thank you. The EP with her name titled Alirat EP. Mm. You know, it's not it's not a tribute. It's not a tribute. Mm. It's not a sad. <laughs> it's just like, you know dedication. Yeah, she, just, yeah, because yeah. if she was alive, she's like that kind of person that used to vibe to yeah. my song. Kind of person where whereby she's maybe going on and she they play my song mm. on the radio like you know yeah. like ah they're playing your song <laughs> or you see on TV even yeah. so she's very support yeah. with money advice and everything. So okay. I just try and dedicate. It. Um, the EP uh, to R. So uh, I have four tracks on it. Mm. Uh, the first track, La Cream. Second, Hold On. I have PMW. Mm. I have Love You For Life. Okay. You know, because so, we're running out of time, just yeah. do a freestyle for us really quickly. Any any song of your choice. All right. So uh, this this is uh, from Alirat EP. Okay. All right. Steady chasing you know, on my grand am I looking for me. They keep calling me. But I know they pick. Oh no, every single day we give God a testimony. Whether they like it or not, see now we they lead. Lead, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And big shout out to Alira. Yeah. Stay hey. classic. <laughs> no. All right, thank you so much, um, thank you. Stay classic, thank you. For, having, thank you. for being here with us. Thank you All for right, having me. All right, tea time will go on a quick break, but we'll be right back with another guest. So stay tuned, guys.